Yo, what's going on guys? It's Res, and thank you for clicking on this video. Now, a lot of you guys probably already know that in Destiny 2, that there's a bunch of different builds you can do, and some of the most popular ones are actually grenade builds. I will say the Warlock probably gets the most benefits out of grenade builds, but the Titan Hunter also has builds that can really work around grenades as well, and this whole video is just talking about a weapon that's going to completely change the way all these grenade builds work. Now, in this video, I will be showcasing it on my Warlock build myself, but again, like I said, this gun can also work on any other character. If you want to run a dust-filled Hunter grenade, build this could be really good on that but this weapon works extremely well paired with the warlock exotic verity's brow and the gun i am talking about is none other than the dxr 55 battler or aka just the halo battle rifle the reason this gun is so good is because it can get a really unique role and it is actually also an energy slot but i will get into that later in the video so if you guys do enjoy this consider doing all the normal youtube stuff it really helps me out and our community grow by getting these videos out there for everyone to see i truly appreciate it all right so starting off talking about the battle rifle and pve it is definitely up there with some some of the top tier pv weapons it's really unique in the sense that it is a pulse rifle that you can also use at close range normally they're typically always long to medium range but this one you can use at pretty much any distance on top of the rolls that you can get and the rolls specifically for grenade builds are going to be the role of demolitionist in the left column and adrenaline junkie in the right column if you don't know what these two perks do it's essentially demolitionist gives you grenade energy when you kill an enemy with the gun plus when you throw a grenade the gun is completely reloaded then adrenaline junkie basically when you get a kill with this gun you get a stack and damage and handling bonus and on top of that if you get a grenade kill this bonus gets to max stacks immediately and you get the max benefit so as you see the two synergies, they're going to be going back and forth between getting kills to get your gun more damage. Then obviously you're getting grenade energy back. When you throw your grenade, you reload the gun, the grenade gets killed, it gets back to max damage. Just those two perks alone synergize extremely well, and it makes this gun a beast on any character. Now the reason it's slightly better on the Warlock is because of the fact that it's in the energy slot, it's a solar element. And as you know, bottom solar tree dawn blade has recently got a buff to basically make you know, all your grenade builds are really, really good, and it's going to pair with something like Verity's Brow, because obviously with Verity's Brow, if you get a weapon final blow that matches your subclass type, you're going to get that stacking damage bonus and grenade cooldown rate. So now with this gun, when you get a kill, you're getting more damage to your grenade and your gun. You're getting grenade energy back. Your exotic helmet's giving you grenade energy back. And you're going to be able to just spam grenades everywhere and kill stuff from pretty much in any range. Now, I want to go over the build that I'm running for this on my Warlock. It's actually a very simple build, and you can get some crazy, crazy benefits out of it. I personally am running the solar grenade, but this does have the longest cooldown of all the grenades on this tree. If you want to run something like fireball, if with 100 discipline, it's going to have a 24 second cooldown and you can literally just have a fireball grenade up pretty much indefinitely. Uh, it's kind of crazy how fast they recharge. Obviously, it's not going to get as much kills as something like a solar grenade, but you're going to be able to just always have this grenade uh, spawning elemental wells, which I'll get to in a second. And you're going to be able just to blow everything up. It's just a nice little huge chunk of damage you can throw and kill a lot of enemies even if you want to take something like a fusion grenade you can do that as well but honestly even with the longer cooldown the solar grenade is still the way to go in my opinion because it is just the best aoe grenade in the game i do not think this specific type of aoe build is better than the video i posted yesterday so if you guys do want to go watch that i will link in the description and put it up in the little card in the top right but this is also really really good and you just have to base it around your whole grenade obviously all right so get over to the mods the main one we're going to be running is uh elemental ordinance right here i'm going to have three and the reason I'm running three is also the fact that I'm running Bountiful Wells. So if you don't know what this does, essentially elemental well mods that cause you to spawn elemental wells can now stack and spawn additional wells for each additional copy of the mods you have. So with three, they're all now going to stack, which is really, really good. And this is also essentially giving you an extra one. So when you get a grenade kill, you're getting four elemental wells to spawn, which is going to give you a huge amount of grenade energy back on top of obviously your battle rifle getting kills. You're going to be able to get your grenade back literally infinite like it, it's crazy the amount of grenades you can spam with this it, it's almost like sun bracers but you don't have to wear sun bracers and on top of that the elemental well since they do match your subclass you're also even getting your melee and rift energy back really fast as well now the final mod i like to run is fontamite actually so when you pick up elements well that match your subclass you're going to get a uh, 10 seconds of increased damage of that element so obviously now when you pick elemental well up you're getting even more damage to this battle rifle on top of what adrenaline junkie is already doing and then i like to run yalahorn with this build because since we're going to be buffing our solar damage a lot you might as well take one of the best solar power weapons and you're going to be able to boss like crazy with this weapon if you do want to run something like sleeper and run particle deconstruction you can that's why i have particle deconstruction on right here uh but you can also obviously take it off and run something like yalahorn if you want to as well it just depends on your play style obviously with particle deconstruction sleeper's going to be a little bit better it's just harder to proc since you don't have a fusion equipped but if somebody else is running a fusion you can absolutely run sleeper and it's still gonna be really good but just for base play i would pretty much always just run yalahorn 
Battle Horn, since you're gonna really easily keep your elemental buffs up and you're gonna be buffing the damage of these two weapons like crazy. Then for additional mods, obviously just like Rocket Ammo Finder, uh, Rocket Reserves, I do run a grenade kickstart, uh, just so you get some energy back when you throw the grenade. It makes it a little bit easier to get because with just Demolitionist alone, it takes around five to six kills uh, with a grenade kickstart to get that back. But obviously if you start taking in uh, the elemental wells and your exotic helmet proccing, you get it back in like two kills and sometimes just throwing a grenade you just get it back it's really insane but then i just have some other stuff like pulse rifle reloader and if you want to run something like a solar uh energy uh pair of boots you can actually take things like innervation right here so reduces uh, the grenade cooldown you pick up an orb power so now not only is your gun getting the grenade energy back when you get kills you're also creating orbs which when you pick this up you're also getting grenade energy back so you're literally going to always be able to have grenades in this build it is insanely good and the main reason that it is really good is the fact that the battle rifle can roll with these insane rolls on it now all right so for the rest of the video it's just going to be some gameplay if you guys would like to stick around and watch that so before the battle rifle the only guns that could roll with demolition adrenaline junkie were uh, the last press and the judgment the auto and hand cannon from the prophecy dungeon the problem is with those specifically for the warlock is that they're both kinetic obviously they're going to be really good on any character but the battle rifle turns it up a notch because it is energy and you can have the solar element pairing with rarity's brow to make your grenades even stronger on top of what demolition and adrenaline junkie can already do like i said i definitely would recommend getting this on any character because even the hunter has some crazy dust filled grenade builds now with some of the buffs that they got and the fact that you can have five fragment slots now and even the titan can make a grenade build work with their five fragment slots as well the only thing i think that could top this is if there's a specific stasis gun that comes out that has demo and headstone on it that is just going to be ridiculous if you can get a roll like that pair with a stasis subclass i cannot wait for that to come out maybe we'll get that in witch queen but that is going to be insane but this is what we have for now and it is insanely strong demolitionist is one of the best perks in the entire game especially when you're really playing into it and this gun just does that perfectly also thanks to the buff to adrenaline junkie it just rounds out the entire damage of the build between guns and grenades and i really really think you guys are gonna enjoy it if you guys do try this out or change anything up be sure to let me know what you think of the build also be sure to just let me know what you think of the battle rifle you join it in pve and pvp because i really do think it's probably one of the better pve weapons in the game right now but that is going to do all for me thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace